So welcome to our series on building a modular synthesizer. Last episode, we put in the oscillator. Today, we're gonna to put in the Q174 MIDI interface. This will allow us to connect the MIDI keyboard up to our modular and be able to play it. So let's put that module in and check it out. Okay, so this is the Q174 MIDI interface by synthesizers.com. This can take a MIDI input and then convert it to the control voltages that we need to control our synthesizer. So we'll plug in the power, drop it in there. So there's two voltages that we need. One is called a control voltage, which they call CV, and one is called a gate. The control voltage is a voltage that tracks the keyboard, and it tracks it at one volt per octave. And this is normally used to control the pitch of our oscillator. So we actually have an output here that says pitch. I'm gonna take a small cable, and we can come out of pitch and go into oscillator. And now with MIDI connected, powered on, if I play a key on the keyboard, the voltage associated with that key will be sent to the oscillator and the oscillator will perfectly track what key we're playing. Now, why voltage? Because these are analog and we didn't have MIDI back then. So everything back in the day was analog. Even the keyboards that you connected to a modular had analog outputs. They had CV and gate outputs. So control voltage tracks the keyboard, makes our oscillator pitch track the keyboard. So in a analog synthesizer, we need to tell the synthesizer two things, what key we're playing and when we're playing the key. So what key we're playing is the pitch, when we're playing the key is the gate, okay? Now the gate basically is just a voltage that rises while you press the key, stays risen until you let go of the key and it drops back down. That's the gate on, gate off signal of the key. When I press a key, the voltage that's coming out of the pitch is referenced by which key I play. Now, if I unplug the pitch from the oscillator, it's turning the note on and off, but I'm not getting, I'm not getting any tracking. Plug it back in. Okay. So if no pitch is plugged in, clearly this is zero volts. So let's take a look at that with the scope. I think it would be interesting. Plug the scope into the pitch. Now, zero volts is that center line. If I go up one octave, it's gonna go up one graticule. Next one. The pitch isn't changing because I don't have the oscillator hooked up. But see, it goes up an octave every time. Also notice it stays where you leave it. I'm not holding a key anymore, but it's still there. You know, it's amazing for analog and just voltages that this tracks so well, that they figured this out a long time ago. So the gate is a signal that appears when you press a key and then goes away when you let go of the key. So let's look at that with the scope. Now this is gonna be five volts, so it's gonna literally go all the way up to the top of the screen. But I'm gonna just press a key, goes up to five volts, drops back down. Goes up to five volts, drops back down. Doesn't matter which key I play, it's mainly just telling the synthesizer that you have pressed a key and, and how long you hold it. As long as I hold it, it stays up. And when I let go, it goes back down. This signal, this gate signal, is what we're going to use to turn the synthesizer voice on and off as we play. So we have the pitch, which tracks the keyboard and remains wherever you last put it. or gate, which occurs every time we press a key. You know, one of the things uh, about the modular, and I'm just gonna mention this real quick, we talk about what's typically connected. There are no limits. You can connect whatever you feel like. Uh, just because a control voltage typically goes to the oscillator, doesn't have to. Point is, is you're not limited to the typical things, but you need to understand the typical things so that you can quickly get a sound going, then, once you're comfortable with that, you can branch off and say, well, what happens if I do this? What if I plug this into that? You know, and try different things. 
There's no limit. It doesn't matter what you plug into what. You can't hurt anything. It may not sound that great. You know, you might not get that much from it, but you're not going to damage anything. And if that doesn't work, then move on, try something else. Okay, so that was a brief overview of the Q174. It's quite a bit more power in behind this little module that we'll check out. I'm going to put the specifications up here in a second on a slide so you can check them out. Glad y'all came and watched today. Next episode, we're going to take that gate signal and run it right over to the envelope generators and see what they do. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope to see you next episode.